Hi everybody, here's a quick video, probably about a minute or two, on a new project I'm working on. This is a uh, Spec C cooling system upgrade that I'm going to do on a little GC8 here. I'm trying to keep this all OEM plus. Uh, this is a little bit of a more complicated one if you're trying to use OEM parts. As you know, the standard Subaru STI and WRX come with a water to air cooler. This is the oil filter block. You probably haven't seen one of these before. It's a Spec C version. Uh, right here is the thermostat. Uh, this side bolts against the block. The outlet here uses this really cool uh, twin pipe that goes over the top of the header. Bolts on like this. You can see this one got a bit bent up. Unfortunately, a lot of these Japanese engine swap ones get bent up uh, when the engine gets shipped. So. This, this piece is for sale. It's, it's, it's available to buy new, but I decided on doing something else since this piece also relies on hose clamps, uh, which I'm not too keen on. There's a company called Fuji Racing that makes an adapter block. This is metric to AN. It uses an O-ring seal once you tighten those up. So this bolts on to here. It uses about a 12 millimeter O-ring. This, uh, frustratingly, is a, a Japan-only part. Uh, these two little guys, you could probably find something close enough. I believe these are 12.3 millimeters uh, in, in diameter, in OD. Uh, luckily, I had them. So that'll go on here. The O-rings go here and here. This guy bolts to the block. It uses a very similar bolt here. The next step is to plug the nipple that goes out of the block uh, to the factory water to air cooler. Uh, you take that out, you put this plug in, then you get a Spec C water pump, which has a blank right here instead of a barb. Typically, this barb would run uh, up and across here and plug into the block. Uh, now, as you can see, this is the old pump. And, uh, of course, you can reuse the old outlet on there. So, new pump, new block, new pipes. For this, I'm going to have something made that has uh, two metal leads that sort of replicate this system, but they'll be AN6, and then they'll transition to a, to a braided-type hose. And I'll have those made up by BMRS. A couple other things while we're at it here. This is the V1 slash V2 power steering cooler hose. Uh, it's similar to the later version, however, the early one, instead of using uh, just a simple uh, heat dissipating loop, pipe loop, it has an actual cooler. Uh, now this thing's pretty trick, it's aluminum. The problem is, you can buy this set of hoses and this set of pipes from Japan for $200, or you can buy this set of pipes plus this cooler for $200. So you're in it for 400 bucks uh, if you want to get all the replacement hoses. And look at my hoses. They're like solid uh, plastic now because they're so old. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. I might use the later GC8 type, which is still available. Unfortunately, it's just a set of aluminum pipes that does a loop and not that cool uh, cooler. Um, it does open up some uh, some options later for my oil cooler. That's the whole purpose of doing this Spec C setup, is to run a Spec C uh, oil cooler, or perhaps this C trap version here, which is a little bit better. And I'll do dash six fittings on that. So that's the plan. That's the upgrade. As you can see, of course, the timing belt components have to come off the engine. Uh, this video is turning kind of long. Uh, one thing, like a couple while you're in there jobs, uh, this is the water pump here. The later STI and later WRX have that small pulley right here that that spans this to that, and it keeps the uh, belt from jumping at high RPM. So I might update the bracket, update to a small pulley, so the tensioner changes and a couple other things change. A lot of while you're in there stuff, and uh, all OEM, this thing should be pretty pretty badass by the time it's done. That's it. Over and out.